लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड एंड्रॉइड वर्जन वी हैव स्टडीड थियरी बेस्ड ऑन इट देन वी हैव सीन द वर्जन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन द इमेजेस विच आर बेस्ड ऑन द वर्जन ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एंड एट लास्ट we have discussed the features which are related with the different versions we have studied up to the version gingerbread right so today we are going to start with the next version and that is called honeycomb this version is based on the version number 3.0 the version number 3.2.6 it is based on the linux kernel 2.6.36 and in the month of february in the year 2011 it was launched this particular version is specifically launched for first tablet which is based on the android operating system so before honeycomb there is no android operating system used for the tablet so this is the first tablet based operating system and this version is known as honeycomb now it contains features like holographic now what is the term holographic uh, see it is a collection of light which is capable to produce image or we can say based on a shining of laser it will print or illustrate image on the screen so holographic feature is the biggest feature available in the honeycomb version i am going to repeat the word hologram once again it is a uh, it is nothing but it is responsible to produce image using laser light so it is a project it is the holographic representation which projects image on the screen with the help of laser light it also contains system bar it also contains multitasking tapping on the recent applications in system bar it also contains redesign the keyboard making fast typing it gives you a quick access to camera exposure you are having hardware acceleration you are having multi core processor it also contains user interface refinements ui stands for user interface refinements connectivity for U usb usb stands for universal serial bus see if you people are not able to write or mug up the name of this all features at that time just you need to recall main feature right that this particular version contains this particular specific feature say for example in the honeycomb you are having holographic feature so this thing you need to recall otherwise uh, the remaining functionality if you forgot then it is okay but over here i have mentioned just for your knowledge so in this particular feature it also have the support for usb universal serial bus similarly you are having joystick and game pads if you want to play online game then such kind of facility is given in this particular feature next is called google books it fix the data you are having wifi locks you are having uh some connectivity issues when coming out of airplane mode that means if you put your mobile in the airplane mode and when you restart your uh, 
restart back from that mode at that time there is a little bit of connectivity issues with a data connection right so it fixes that particular bug in the honeycomb version so i am going to repeat once again that you do not need to mug up all the features available in particular version i have just mentioned for your knowledge if you people are not able to understand this features then it's okay but you need to uh, highlight the main feature or functionality which is based on a particular version over here holographic is the main feature similarly this particular version is just invented for the first time in the tablet so this point you need to write so totally basic four points you can write in this particular version number 1 this version was introduced in the year 2011 in the month of february number 2 it supports linux kernel 2.6.36 so this is the second point the third point is what in the name of this version is what honeycomb which is based on the version 3.0 next point you can mention is the main feature of this particular version is of holographic holographic is nothing but it is capable to produce image using light right and next point you can mention is what this particular version was launched for the first time for tab tablet devices so you can write this five points in the honeycomb next version is called ice cream sandwich and numerical version is called 4.0 to 4.0.4 so Android version 4.0.1 was launched in the year 2011 and month of October it is based on the Linux kernel 3.0.1 and it is the last official support for Adobe system flash player that means after ice cream sandwich next version will not provide support for the Adobe system flash player so this is the last official version of uh, which supports adobe system flash player now onwards it introduces the numerous new features like refinement to holo interface with the new robot font family roboto font family separation of widgets in new tab integrated screenshot capture improve error correction on the keyboard improve copy and paste functionality built in photo editors fix minor bugs improvement to graphics you are having spelling checking facility and there is a better camera performance so over here this all are the features introduced in the ice cream sandwich but you can write three to four points like it was introduced or launched in the year 2011 the name of this version is ice cream sandwich which is based on the version 4.0 to version 4.0.4 it is based on the linux kernel 3.0.1 and this is the last official version which will support adobe system flash player so this four points you can write when you want to mention the theory of ice cream sandwich these all are the additional features you can write if you wish to write them next is called android version 4.1 to 4.3.1 which is referred as a jelly bean jelly bean was launched in the year 2012 it is the it is announced by the android 4.1 and name of it is jelly bean it is based on the linux kernel 3.0.31 now it updates several features like smoother user interface it is used to enhance accessibility you are having expandable notification 
there are several bugs which is removed in the nexus 7 one finger gesture to expand and collapse notification expand and collapse means what when you touch on specific uh, message at that time see that particular chat contains seven messages one related with one person so you can expand that notification using your fingers similarly you want to collapse right at that time it can be possible in after jelly bean version lock of screen improvement is there you are you can create multiple user accounts but this feature is available in the tablet only new clock application is there in this particular version you are having bluetooth low energy support you are having volume for incoming call up till this version you are not able to uh, reduce or you you are not able to uh, make a volume higher but when you want to when there is a jelly bean version installed in your device at that time you can adjust the volume of your incoming call then you are having 4k revolution support you are having native emoji support see over here from jelly bean uh, version you are having emoji support uh, and again if uh, when there is a uh, several bugs before this version it fixes bugs related with the nexus 7 and nexus 7 lte is the improved version after clearing all the bugs in the particular device next version is related with the version 4.4 to version 4.4.4 and the name of that version is called kitkat uh, the initial name of this version is known as key lime pipe pipe right so uh, it may ask in the exam one mark question is there that what is the initial name of kitkat so initial name of kitkat was key lime pipe and it was launched in the year 2013 and in the month of september google started on google's nexus 5 on october 31 2013 so after one month uh, you are having kitkat version in google's nexus for naturally it is the subsidiary of google so whatever the phone google launches uh, it it will be uh, it will contain the version related with the android phone the minimum required amount of ram should be available to android is 340 mb and other devices with less than 512 mb of ram must report themselves as a low ram devices so if you want to uh, upgrade your version from uh, jelly bean to kitkat at that time minimum requirement of ram would be what 512 otherwise remaining ram that means uh, less than the 512 mb it is considered as a low ram devices uh, it includes several new features as clock displayed bold hours uh, wireless printing cap capabilities web views are based on chromonium engine you are having sensor batching you are having built in screen recording features you are having better application compatibility you are having camera applications load google plus photo instead of gallery so you can store your photos inside google plus instead of gallery so this feature has been introduced in the kitkat version next version is known as lollipop version and its initial name was android l and which is based on the version 5.0 to 5.1.1 year 2014 lollipop version was launched its official version was launched in 
the November, right? So trial version was uh, launched in the June, uh, two, uh, uh, sorry, June 25 in the year 2014. But in the November, its official version one was launched for the public. Lollipop provides several features like there is a redesign in the GUI, there is a 64-bit support for CPU, it supports print previews, you are having material designs, you are having project volta for battery life improvement, there is a multiple user account management, you are able to input audio, you are having, uh, you are able to produce output USB devices, you can join using Wi-Fi network, it provides support for multi, uh, multiple SIM cards, so this is the main feature you can write inside Lollipop, that multiple SIM card facility is provided by the, after the Lollipop version, right, uh, then device protection facility is there, Wi-Fi calling support is there, high definition voice call is there, so these all are the features available after Lollipop version, but multiple SIM card facility is the main feature introduced in the Lollipop version and initial name of this particular version was Lo uh, Android L and it was launched in the 2014 month of June, but official version was launched in the month of November. Next version is called Marshmallow, it is referred as Android M and uh, it was launched in the May 28, 2015. It is just uh, developed for the Nexus Mobile 5, 6 and 9 tablet but after later on the official version was launched that is for uh, on the month of October uh, 2015. So Marshmallow was officially launched on the month of October but uh, in the month of May right uh, it is just trial version for Nexus 5, for Nexus 6 and for Nexus 9 tablets. It contains new features like app standby feature introduce the dose mode to save the battery life, uh, native fingerprint reader support, runtime permission request, USB-C support and Unicode 7.0 and 8.0 emoji support. So you can write the main feature like dose mode to save battery life. When you want to save battery at that time you are having dose mode and which uh, was introduced with the marshmallow version even you are having fingerprint reader support that is also considered as a main feature of this particular version so you can also write in the marshmallow version similarly USB-C is again a strong sh support given to the marshmallow so these all are the features available in the marshmallow next is called Nougat. In the Nougat version, you are having code name called Android N, which was launched in the month of March and in the year of 2016. But it is just for the preview purpose in the Nexus devices. But in the month of August, final preview was built and released which contains features like file based encryption, you are able to zoom your screen, you are having cheat 
official beta version was released released on the April 3 2019 and stable version that means all the user can use that version in the month of September 2019 it supports several features specifically like new permission to access location in the background that means gps uh, facility was uh, bounded in this particular version floating setting panel support for an av1 video codec support for bio biometrics authentication support for wpa wifi protected access so all the authentication and security and permission related features added to android version 10 so main version is what uh, sorry main feature is what access location in the background that means gps facility is given or bound to this particular version wifi protected access is bound to this version similarly authentication related with the biometrics or fingerprints is available in this version so this is the 10th extensive version of android operating system the latest version is called android 11 which is the 11th big release of android operating system it is the 18th version of android mobile os which was released on the month september 2020 alphabetic naming system of android based on the desert was stopped since android 10 so therefore this operating system has branded with android 11 so this is the latest version of android operating system it contains features like conversations accessibility device control content capture predictive tools privacy and security and media so this all are the features included with android 11 version conversation feature contains all the uh, all your messages in one place so it contains record of all your messages in one place accessibility means perspective apps help us to control and navigate our phone using voice command so there are several apps using which you can uh, pass audio commands and based on your audio it captures input and based on your audio input it produces output so you you are able to access the uh, and navigate to the phone using voice commands device control is related with the controlling all our connected devices which is based on the iot iot stands for internet of things right so when you want to control any devices or we can say any connected devices from a single point so it can be possible 